I was watching my program on the TV. Felt like I had uh, indigestion, so I went up to bed. And literally, that's the last I remember about it. He snores anyway. I realised it wasn't a normal snore. It sounded like deflating. Something was deflating. Rolled him over, and there was no noise. And he was foaming at the mouth. He was purple in the face, and his eyes had rolled back in his head. And then. I um, called Molly and she came into the room. Um, I don't really, I, I was really numb to it to be fair. I just sort of said, Molly, Dad's not breathing. I've opened the door. Mum's kind of just stood up, kind of panicking. Dad's lying on the bed purple. My first reaction was just going to like autopilot and just kind of do the first aid. I didn't have any other thoughts, just do the first day, get on the floor, get the ambulance here. Then obviously I could see she was getting tired um, and while we were still waiting for the ambulance because it took about 11 minutes for them to get here. And I said to her, do you want me to help? And I'd never done anything like that before. She showed me where to put my hands. She said, just do that, don't take your hands off them, don't stop. And I was counting the beats to her so she'd get it on time properly whilst I was on the phone to the ambulance telling them where we are. When the ambulance was arriving, I felt a little bit nervous. So I ran down the street I went to go get them. So I was waving like a lunatic <laughs> at the ambulance. They've spotted me and followed me to the house. So I went into the living room down here to keep everyone calm. And I've called Mum's work to tell them that they need to get someone to cover. I've called Nan to come over and my school so I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> in my first day training cadets, it was joining the St John Ambulance. So we got our little badge and it says St John Ambulance on it to do it for 10, 11 minutes. On your dad as well, like, you, you know, know not, not like a stranger, yeah. you know, to actually do it on somebody you love, I think so, it must be more difficult. I don't know, I've, I've difficult anyway, but, you know, you just... Ama amazing, truly amazing. For said John Ambulance to recognise what she's done, um, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful for that, and for us as a family, because it's personal to us, um, well, I don't know what we'd do without. And we're very glad that she knows what she's doing. Basically, if it wasn't for Molly, I wouldn't be here. And love.